alaikum and welcome to Titley's Pissy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. British cuisine often gets a bad name and, well, largely it's deserved. But there are some really good classic British dishes, like the one I'm going to cook today, steak and kidney pie. Now, this recipe will do for steak pie, steak kidney pie, steak and mushroom pie, or as I'm going to do today, steak and kidney pie with mushrooms. I've got a kilogram of stewing steak that I've cut into about one inch pieces, 250 grams of lamb's kidneys. If you can get ox kidneys, these are definitely the best for steak and kidney pie. 250 grams of mushroom that I've cut into quarters, two large onions that I've chopped. Now, if you're a bacon eater, you can add 250 grams of smoked bacon, but I'm actually going to use a dried halal sausage. So I've got 250 grams here, a beef stock cube, and no, it's not a tea bag. It's actually a bouquet garni bag. And this is going to give lots of lovely herby flavors to my steak and kidney pie. I've heated four tablespoons of vegetable oil in a large pan and I'll add in the onions and the smoked sausage which I've cut into pieces. And I'll just brown these on a low heat. While the onions are sizzling, I'll put four tablespoons of plain flour into a bowl and I'll add in the stewing steak and mix it all around and make sure that the meat is well coated with the flour. The onions are just starting to go brown, so I'll add in about half of the meat. Don't be tempted to add it all at once, just do it in batches and brown the meat. Once the first lot of meat is browned, add in the second half and brown that too. While the beef's browning, I've put another tablespoon of flour in a bowl. I've taken the kidneys, I've cut out the central fatty bit, and I've cut them into pieces which are about one and a half centimetres or half inch in size, and I'll mix these in with the flour. Once all the meat is brown, add in the kidneys. Just stir it for a couple of minutes to slightly brown the kidneys. Then add in 800 mils of stock that you've made with the stock cube. And turn off the heat. I've got a nice big casserole dish with my bouquet garni tea bag in the bottom. And I'm going to pour in the casserole mix. Perfect. Now pop on the lid and this is going to go into the oven at 160 degrees C for two hours. After two hours, remove from the oven, take out the bouquet garni, then add in the mushrooms, stir the mushrooms in, then season with salt and pepper. Stir once more and leave it to stand for about 20 minutes. I've got some ready-made pie pastry here and when I make steak and kidney pie I like to make individual pies but you can make a large pie if you like and the principle's the same. I'm just going to begin by cutting out some lids for the pies. I'll just put that to one side. Use the excess pastry to make a thin rim of pastry around the edge of the pie dish. This will help the top stick to the, to the pie dish. And then spoon in your steak and kidney pie mixture. That's great. If you've got any pie mixture left over, it will freeze. Now put on the pie lids. Crimp the edges with a fork. Trim away very carefully any excess pastry. Poke some holes in the pastry to let the steam out. Now these are going to go into a hot oven, 220 degrees C, for 20 minutes. Then turn down to 160 degrees C for another 15 minutes. Steak and kidney pie, chips, squeaky green beans and julienne of carrots cooked in butter. 
It doesn't come much more British than that. So, now you know how to make steak pie, steak kidney pie, steak and mushroom pie, and steak and kidney pie with mushrooms. Four recipes in one. How much more value do you want? Join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Nihan. Until next time, Huda Hafiz.